next recipe is going to be a beef stroganoff, which is found on fawnboneboth.com. I'm using one pound of ground pork from Ayrshire Farms. It's organic. You could use one pound of beef. I had a half a cup of onion left over that I wanted to cook with too. So I'm adding some items into the recipe that weren't there just because I wanted to use what I have in my pantry. That's what makes it an easy lunch recipe. Four stalks of organic celery and I ended up using a half a cup of yellow pepper. I did not have mushrooms that the beef stroganoff called for. So instead I just substituted peppers in. I did end up sauteing these all together. Of course, I finally chopped them and uh, really diced them small. I had two garlic cloves. The recipe calls for three, but that's okay. I did end up using two. Simply smash your fresh garlic cloves and then dice them together to put them into your mixture to saute together with your ground beef or ground pork. Make sure it is thoroughly cooked and um, mix together in your garlic with your beef, with your onions, and then add into it your vegetables, your grounds, um, your your organic celery and your organic peppers this mixture it smells delicious then I added into it the fawn bone broth um, you could use the different flavors for it it's two cups I let the two cups of the fawn bone broth simmer into the beef stroganoff mixture that I'm making. I use the youth tonic one. Oh my goodness, it tasted so good. Two cups, let it simmer for 45 minutes on low heat to help infuse the flavors. So this video is sponsored by Fond Bone Broth. I will link down in the description link below where you can order a whole case and get it set up on auto ship for the amazing bone broth to be delivered directly to your door. It's sustainable, organic, brood-like beer, infused like tea, sip like espresso, and level up flavor for any lunch recipe or dinner recipe. Fond Bone Broth is sustainable. It's from organic farms that they partner with for the iconic glass jars stored on the shelf for every part of pro process designed with our world in mind. Number two, they're also functional, is that every ingredient for Fond Bone, Fond Bone Broth is hand-picked and paired to optimize absorption and taste. After 45 minutes, I added a half a cup of the heavy whipping cream together. And then I simply just put this together. I did not have egg noodles. Instead, I used two cups of squash. A neighbor had had some fresh squash from their garden and ended up giving it to me, but that sauce is so filling. It's a healthy lunch, and it's really easy to make with this healthy recipe. And that is your full lunch meal. It's delicious and very filling. So first, what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and you can skip ahead if you would like to not use dried garbanzo beans. You could actually use chickpeas from a can. I will put a timestamp in the description link below. But we're going to go ahead and add 1.5 cups of dried chickpeas to water, fill it up uh, with several inches of water above it, and start to boil the water um, to make sure that we're getting our, chick our dried chickpeas cooked, our dry garbanzo beans cooked. You're gonna boil it for five minutes and then you're gonna let it sit for an hour with the lid covered on it um, to get the beans cooked. Again, you can use canned beans and skip this step um, and you can check the, the timestamp below to skip ahead. So once this is cooked, we're gonna go ahead and drain that water and then we're gonna go ahead and add the cooked beans into, after we've drained it, we're gonna go ahead and add the cooked garbanzo beans and chickpeas to a pot again and add two cups of the fond bone broth. And again, this fond bone broth is one of the best. It's shipped directly to your house. You can get on auto ship, but you're gonna let this boil all together, your beans and the fond bone broth for um, a couple of minutes, then reduce the temperature and let it sit that way for two hours with the lid slightly ajar on it. And then that way it's going to soak in the juices, soak in all of the um, amazing healing properties that comes with Fond Bone Broth. Check out down below in my description, Bone Broth Benefits, the video I did on Bone Broth of why it's so healing for our bodies, for our guts. And this is a really easy recipe for hummus to get it, you know, into, for nourishing components of it. Um, so I use this other half of the garbanzo beans and ironically, I washed out my Fond Bone Bar jar and I'm going to put the extra beans in that. I did use Fresh Jack's Smoky Southwest. I'm using a half a, a tablespoon of the Smoky Southwest in there. 
And I'm going to go ahead and put my fawn bone broth, the garbanzo beans, and just put that in the pantry to use for later. So this recipe calls for a fourth a cup of well-stirred tahini that's going to go in there. In addition to our 1.5 cups of chickpeas, we're going to go ahead and put that directly into a food processor or a blender. I didn't have a food processor, so I just used a blender. Super, super simple. I will link this organic tahini down below. I did also use two limes in there. Um, the recipe calls for a fourth a cup of lime or lemon juice. Um, one lime was not enough, so I added a second squeezed lime, a freshly squeezed lime juice in there. And then I started to add my chickpeas into the mixture, pureed it. I added batches slowly but surely of the chickpeas in there. In addition, I did add two garlic cloves. Um, I had already put in the half a tablespoon of the Fresh Jack Southwest seasoning. If you're not cooking your garbanzo beans, add it into the recipe. And then a fourth a cup of the fond bone broth that we had cooked the beans with to boil them together. Then you're gonna add that into the blender. Mix it and keep this process going, and that is the end result. The easiest hummus recipe from scratch so simple and you can pair it with freshly served vegetables. We had some fresh cucumber from our garden to pair it with, fresh um, red peppers. My four-year-old was obsessed with this recipe. It tasted so good, so hearty, filled with great fiber and also with some good protein there too. And with the fond bone broth included in this recipe, you can definitely taste the flavor of adding the fond bone broth, broth versus not having the fond bone broth in the hummus recipe. Lots of extra flavor and those good proteins added too as a result of fond being made with it. Super simple. The next lunch recipe we're gonna do is having youth tonic. I love to sip on fond bone broth for my lunch. I have two cups of bone broth throughout the day for lunch and it's extremely filling. Our next recipe is gonna be our chicken enchiladas. I took our fond bone broth, two cups of the bone broth. It doesn't matter which flavor that you want to use for it, which is great. It's um, it's, it's open-ended on that sense, but pour in your two cups of bone broth. You're going to cook a whole chicken. I will link down below the meal prep recipe that I use to make the whole chicken. It's a whole organic chicken from Ayrshire Farms with General Harvest. And take your whole chicken, I did end up using Fresh Jack's Island Spice. You can use whatever spices you would like to put in there from Fresh Jack's. With the fond bone broth, with the chicken, cook it for an hour. Very simple. I will link that recipe in the description link below. From there, after we've cooked our whole organic chicken, then you can take a half a cup of onions and then two cups of your organic chicken for your chicken enchiladas. Chop up the chicken and we're going to mix and saute the onions with the chicken into a big I used a cast iron skillet, but you're going to mix that together along with some cream cheese. I had some frozen cream cheese I had wanted to get rid of, so I put in there a cup of frozen cream cheese along with my Fresh Jack's Smoky Southwest. I did use a fourth a cup of Fresh Jack's Smoky Southwest, mixed it together like a taco recipe. I did also end up putting in some garlic. I only had two cloves, although the recipe does call for um, a little bit more than that. And mix that together uh, to saute it like a taco mixture. I then used one cup of canned corn. You could use fresh corn, use what you have in your pantry. Um, mix that together in our taco mixture. Again, sauteing it all together to make it this delicious enchilada filling. Put in one cup of salsa, mix that together. This lunch recipe is so simple and so easy. I did end up putting a half a cup of some mozzarella cheese I had. I wanted to get rid of it because it was frozen. And then one cup of diced green chilies. I use the mild because I'm a baby about spice, but you can make them spicy. And then you're gonna have this great enchilada filling. Oh my goodness. This recipe, this lunch recipe, can you can put on it freshly grated grass-fed cheese. I love freshly grated cheese as opposed to pre-shredded cheese because it makes it taste better. So mix that together. You're going to go ahead and start your oven for 350 degrees. I'm making it two ways. One is a taco enchilada casserole that's low carb without tortillas. And then the regular version is with tortillas. If you're doing the casserole and the enchilada casserole, simply just put your filling in with a cup of shredded cheese. For your enchiladas, you're gonna go ahead and put down a half a cup of salsa into your glass Pyrex dish. You're gonna get five 
flour tortillas or corn tortillas, and then take three-fourths of a cup of your enchilada mixture, roll it together, put the open side face down. You'll see that the, the closed side is face up. And then we're gonna go ahead and put some shredded cheese and another half a cup of salsa on top. Put it into your, your oven at 350 degrees and bake it for 20 minutes. Rolling those enchiladas together is really, really simple. Your children can help you do this, or you can use this as a freezer menu if you're really busy with work. It's an easy recipe that can be very simply frozen. And then put it in, bake it. It can be served with some avocado, um, with some guacamole, sour cream. It is absolutely fabulous. Look at that. You can make it two ways, whichever way makes the most sense for your household um, and for the portion sizes you want to have. But if you found this video helpful, make sure you smash that like button, click subscribe, and check out our other videos down in the playlist. You can also check out Fawn Bone Broth in the description link below to order your auto ship case of bone broth directly to your house. Make it a powerful day, my friends. See you next time.